In this video, we're going to focus on the Charge.js plugin streaming. And this plugin is quite interesting because this allows you to stream data in Charge.js, basically real-time data, or if you cannot get any real-time data, you can stream automatically data that you have. And this can be really, really fun. All right, so let's start and explore how to do this because this is part of the, uh, basically on this plugin here, which is the Charge.js plugin streaming and it's a series that covers how to create streaming uh, charts so this only works this is a quick important note here this only works and it's more practical on a bar chart and a line chart maybe a bubble chart or a scatter chart anything where we have the Cartesian axis by default so let's start and explore this so to do this what I want to do first is I want to go to chart yes here and what we're going to do is we're going to create a quick chart so I'm going here on chartjs.org. Char I'll copy this, paste this in here, and then what I will do is I will also add another item here, getting started, and I'll grab this uh, link as well, put it in here. All right, so what we need to do now is just give this a proper indentation. And then what I want to do here is I want to make a div, and this becomes really important here because the larger your, your chart becomes, the slower it becomes as well because it will be quite heavy so i'm going to make this a div and in this div i'm going to set a width of 700 pixels so we say here chart box as a class and then here we have canvas we have here another one and then we say here dot chart box which means for the class then we say here with 700 pixels so now we have this here i will save this here i'm going to remove this part here as well this is obsolete Go back here and refresh. All right, so we've got this now, and this is just our basic. What I want to do first is I want to break the structure and make it in a correct structure before I even continue on. So in here, what we're going to do is here, we're going to create the three boxes, which are very important. This is every documentation right now is starting to use this, so make sure you understand this. We have here the setup block, basically the blocks. This is the setup block. We have here the configuration block, the config block, and finally, we have our render block, our render or initialization or init block, because we are going to draw the chart for the first time. So we initialize it. All right. In here, we're going to say the following. Const data equals, and we put in here, semicolon first, and then here, all the data that we have here is everything related from here to here, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. And then I will paste it in here. All right. Once we have this, we're done here. Then the next one will be the configuration block, which is basically the skeleton of Charge.js, which consists of three core parts, which is the type, data, and options. I'm going to grab all of this, cut this out, and then I'm going to make here a new constant. And this constant will be called the config or configuration, curly braces, and then semicolon. And here between, we just paste in what we just had. The next thing what I want to do here, of course, I want to remove the data here, put a comma. Why? This data will be referred to here, this, this constant here, which is here, of course. But that's why this structure I'm using here is a structure you need to follow. Very, very important. So I'm just going to remove all the indentations that are obsolete. And then here, and then here, here, and here. All right. Final item is the rendering of the initialization block, which is the following. We'll say here my chart or constant my chart. Why? We're going to grab this one because this is, of course, and I like to do that as well. I want to give my canvas ID the similar name as the constant so it's easy to track it. And then we say here equals new chart, capital C. What we're doing here is we're going to create a constructor. So a constructor requires parentheses instead of curly braces that we had in the others. So make sure you you see the difference. All right. And then in here, we're going to say the following. I'll say here, document.getElement by ID. And what is the ID I'm going to grab? Well, you guess it, my chart. And then this part, basically, it's almost here similar, but except for this. We can, we can ignore this because the constructor understands and chart.js understands itself is intelligent enough to understand that this is related to the canvas and right now chart.js 
as a built-in. So it sees that immediately we're going to draw something in the canvas. All right. Then next, what we're going to do here, we put a comma here, and we say load configuration, which is the config constant, which is the one here. All right. So once we've got this, let's delete all of this, save that, refresh. Everything is still same. All right. So now we have this. What I want to do now, I want to start activating the um, the plugin. So how are we going to activate the plugin? Well, basically we need three things. Besides this, we need a few things. First of all, we need the uh, Luxon plugin or Luxon uh, library. So this is basically for dates, dates and dates and time because this chart, the streaming chart, is usually for stock market related, where you always have like the newest dates. All right. Next, what we have is an adapter, adapter for the Luxon on Chart.js. So because this one here is specifically for dates, and this is a connection with that. So we have that as well. I'm going to show you as well. And finally, we will have the plugin uh, JavaScript library. And that is just the specific one for the streaming. All right. So I already got them. I just got all the CDNs paired. So we have here, this is the Chart.js plugin streaming CDN. So you can see here, I'll grab this one. This is the latest one. Just click here. I grab this, but this is the fourth item. So that means I'm going to put it basically here for the plugin. All right, streaming plugin is here. And then still we have the other tools first. So what we're going to do here is the next one here is, this is the adapter, the Chart.js adapter Lux, uh, locks on, which is basically a connection with the locks on to read certain uh, options. So we just click this on copy. And then we're going to put it here below. So because this is dependent on here, we need to get the other one as well. So let's grab that one. Because if you would save this right now, and you would go now to charge S, yes, but now everything is still fine. Uh, you can see here it gives a certain error because some parts are still missing. And of course, we don't use yet the streaming plugin, so you will not see it yet. However, I want to make sure we have that one. So we get here, this is the final one, which is the version 1.27. Click here on this, get the HTML, and paste this in here. All right, so once we have this, we're almost done, because now we have everything ready, but there will be a few adjustments specifically in here we're going to work on now. All right, so in the scales, what we're going to do now is, oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. Here in the scales, basically we're going to do this. This here is not allowed to be green, blue, yellow, red, etc., etc. The color labels are not allowed. So we're going to convert it because in the streaming plugin, the Chart.js plugin streaming, you have a new category added in here. And this will be the, the category of real time, or basically the type real time. So we say here X. So we're going to change the scales here, put in a comma. And then in here, we're going to do the following. We're going to say the type, and the type will be now, quotation, real time. So what happens now is, if we save this, you will see that this chart is starting to change. As you can see now, it starts to loop through. It gives you every time a new uh, thing. Every single, well, I guess in this case, every two seconds, it starts to show. So it's now, it's been activated in the way we want it. Of course, what we need to do still is we need to start adding up the data. So in the next video, I'm going to focus on how you add up the data here, where it, we start to keep on adding and pushing values in. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.